So hello guys and welcome. So today I wanted to give a guide about the streaming service GeForce Now. So what streaming services are in terms of gaming is you have a remote server or supercomputer, whatever you want to call it, which plays the game for you and then essentially streams to you the finished result. So the server is responsible for um, rendering the graphics, for uh, bringing the controls and so on. And um, the goal of it is to then allow you to stream really high quality gameplay onto a, let's say, weaker machine. So uh, one example I can give, for example, the game Dying Light, okay? When I had a 970 graphics card, I could not get consistent 1080p 60 fps when I was streaming. I just couldn't. Now I can because obviously my computer is very powerful. But at the time, GeForce Now was a really good option for me. So let me take you through how it works. So if you have got um, a way to access GeForce Now, if it's in beta or, or if it's come out by now, then you log in, you link your... Uh, Steam account so you log in with your Steam account obviously it's not going to give you all these games for free so it will stream any game which is available on Steam or even on Epic Store but it will not if you don't own the game that that's something you have to do so it's games you own so you go to a uh, library you click on a game so I want to play for example Dying Light it's a game I played recently so I'll play game I could potentially show you even what Assassin's Creed Odyssey and Final Fantasy 15 look like as well um, so if I click play game uh, what you can do as well, I'll take you through after I show you Dying Light. I'll show you the different settings that GeForce Now has as well. Okay, so what it's doing now is it's loading the game. It's um, going to establish a network connection to the GeForce Now server, and then it's going to play it completely remotely. So this is the GeForce Now server. It's a very powerful machine. Like it's using last time I checked some t a Tesla graphics card, which is worth like thirty thousand dollars. But obviously, the reason why is so that it can then have many people playing it at the same time. So if I play game now, one advantage that services like this have is that they can download all of your games. They probably have them pre-downloaded um, in advance, so you you can just play the game straight away. You don't have to wait hours to install it. Like I believe Dying Light itself is a good. Um, 30 plus gigabytes install now one thing i'll say about um this service is you would have thought for example streaming would be laggy you know that if you try to play games online it would be a laggy experience if you're shooting if you're whatever then it would be a problem but you you'd be surprised the services these days the streaming services have reduced the lag to nearly nothing to a point that you can enjoy them pretty much in real time almost so um like this this game dying light is a first person so it automatically sets ideal preferences for you but you are obviously still free to go through and change the settings if you wish you can play up to 4k if you have a 4k screen and you have an internet connection which can pull that but for the sake of it as i'm a streamer i stick to 1080p 60 fps and for my sake i switch on vsync um for again for my streaming because my screen is locked at 60 FPS. Now, if I continue, it's now loading the game. So this is one example. I'll show you what the shooter looks like, then I'll show you how good Assassin's Creed Odyssey looks like, and then Final Fantasy 15 Windows Edition. They are all graphically demanding games. Dying Light is probably the easiest game, because it's the oldest out of the three, but the fact is, you can play it like it's on your local machine. That's what's amazing about these streaming services. So um, it's definitely, you could argue it's a definitely better investment. So rather than spending an insane amount of money on some powerful machine, if you only have a certain amount of money per month for your gaming needs, but you still want to experience the games in a high quality, then a streaming service like GeForce Now is an option for you. Okay, so it's loaded the game. So you can see this is a shooter. As I'm moving the mouse, this is like working pretty much instantly. So if I aim, for example, at these zombies here, so let's aim and shoot, shoot, I missed, shoot, shoot. So you see, I'm even able to play shooters, no problem. Let me reload. Okay. There's good sound as well. I was able to hear them coming towards me.
Obviously I should stop shooting because, you know, the more you shoot, the more zombies will come at you. So, yeah. So, that's what I was saying about the sort of streaming services. Like, there might be a misconception to think that only, um, let's say, RPGs or turn-based games or games which don't require, like, quick inputs can be played. But no, you can't even play shooters. Like, really, really well even. You can see the game is running perfectly. 1080p 60fps. This is 100% streamed. I will definitely go ahead and prove that. So let me um, let me quit the game from the streaming service. So if I go to my Steam collection now on my local machine, um, I will show you to prove to you the fact I don't have it installed on my local machine. So I don't want you to think that I was actually playing it locally. So you see GeForce Now. This is my Steam collection. If I go to my thing, Dying Light, you see? It's not even installed. If I want to install it, it's a 29 gig install. It's not even there. So now let us jump into um, Assassin's Creed. Uh, actually, before that, let's jump into the settings. So you have different settings. You can set your preferences. I was able to set mine to uh, 50 um, megabits a second because I've got a 75 megabit internet connection. So you can set it for your preference. You can also select um, from different um, settings. So you can say, for example, data saver, it says four gigabytes an hour. If actual data use is a problem for you, if you don't have an uncapped internet or balanced between performance and also how much data it's using, it's using 10 gigabytes an hour or um, competitive, Optimize streaming settings to deliver the lowest possible latency, which might be good for shooters, for example, if you're playing games like PUBG. But I just set it to the the max of the max, like 1080p, 60fps. Like I said, you could push it even higher, but my screen does not support higher. Um, it only supports up to uh, 1200p, but the, this actually could go all the way to 4K. And you can even set the FPS, with, amazingly, to like 120 FPS. So you'll be amazed how powerful this uh, streaming software is. So if I now go into Assassin's Creed Odyssey, play game, and again, these are games I own. It's not just giving me all these games. I, I own these games, um, so I'm able to play them. I, whether or not GeForce Now will have a, a way of streaming games you don't own, like, for example, the way on Netflix, having your streaming memberships lets you stream all these movies without owning them, I don't know. That's not something anyone said in the future like but we'll see in the future if that becomes the case and again what's nice i don't have assassin's creed odyssey installed it will launch in uh, a few seconds so th these game, you know games these days they can be really huge on the installs so having it available on a server um with a couple of clicks to get up and running is really really good okay so load in load in I highly recommend this game. It's really, really good. Okay, so let's continue where we left off. Or where I left off, I should say. And again, it's, it's what's amazing about it is the fact that it's streaming on a server God knows where. Probably somewhere in London somewhere. And it's just coming to my computer via an internet connection. So, um, for those of you who have ever tried services years ago, which were really laggy and un unsustainable, get ready. This is a new generation. They've even said that, essentially, these, this quality of app can even be put onto phones, onto tablets, and everything. So, do not underestimate the value of streaming services. That's all I'll say. Like, I'm sure, like, my prediction for the future will be is that... They, the reliance on having local hardware, which is really powerful, is going to become less and less. So you can see this is Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Looks absolutely beautiful. That solid uh, 1080p 60fps. And you can even play with a controller as well. So let me pick up my Xbox controller. So let's go. See, so I'm now controlling this with a Xbox controller. It has full support. God, I need to play this game more. I miss it. Assassin's Creed Odyssey was very, very good. It looks stunning. It looks beautiful. So, like... Because if you just don't have the equipment 
to play these games the way they're meant to be played, then, like I said, streaming services like GeForce Now are definitely a choice to have. Because this game was very, very demanding graphically. Like, you needed a really top-end PC if you wanted to ramp this up to the Ultra setting. So, last game I'll, I'll go into is uh, Final Fantasy XV. Okay, here we go. Let's make tracks. Yeah, let's. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, this game is very, very graphically demanding as well. And I'm streaming it online. Amazing. So, I won't say it's running absolutely perfectly, because it isn't, but it's still running pretty damn good, given, like, how intense the graphics are. So, yeah. So, I can't say enough good things about this um, streaming software. I can also not say enough about the quality of gaming these days. Final Fantasy XV is a great game, if you haven't played it before, so be sure to check it out. So, anyway, guys, that was the my guide of GeForce Now. If you have any questions, be sure to um, leave them in the comments down below. What is your experience of using streaming uh, services? Have you used GeForce Now? Like, do let me know, I'm curious. So um, anyway, guys, that's it for this video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. You can watch a random video over there. You can watch the latest upload down there, or you can click down here to subscribe. Thank you guys, bye-bye.